Oh, guys, I just heard. Toby actually said, Toby actually came, like, talked about what happened. You know, those rave allegations, they were fake. And personally, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it from him. Because, guys, with all these rave allegations and stuff, you know, some, like, I'm not saying that any, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that all rave allegations are fake. But sometimes people do this kind of stuff for malice and shit and shit and just to ruin another person's life. And this chick ruined Toby's everything. And I hate that shit. I hate that shit because like this man had everything, everything he could have wanted, but you know, it takes one person to be like, oh, it takes one person to false to basically falsely say this man raped me when no when no raping has occurred because you know that's disrespectful for the people who actually get raped, who actually deal with this kind of shit. And I know, if you guys think I'm taking Toby's side, well, I feel like he could, he's right. Because shit. Because, like, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. From what, from what I heard, Toby seemed kind of scared of the chick, and the chick was all crazy about it and shit. Right? You know? And this chick systematically ruined Toby's life. And you know who made it even worse? Keemstar did. Keemstar, you know? Whenever there's a little bit of news, this man goes, Oh yeah, give me some more. I need to ruin more people's lives. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got my daughter here. Let me get some, let me get some sympathy so I can get people back. You, you know, that's Keemstar in a nutshell. I will always, I will, I will always dislike that man, no matter what. No matter what. He will always be the dirtiest rat there is on YouTube. Once on his life ruined, go to GameStar because he'll do it. He'll do it with no proof whatsoever. People will give him bullshit proof, and all he needs to do is go for it. You know, GameStar, you should really, you know, I want to say this because I wanted to say this for you for a long time. Dude, go to actual news because you can, because, you know, they don't tell the truth. You don't tell the truth. You know, you only go by you only go by what people tell you. They, you know, they don't really go by the truth. You should work for CNN. Seriously, they would love you. They would fucking love you. Or even TMZ. TMZ would love you even more. They'd be like, "Hum, alam alaikum, who say, who say?" Like I'm saying, bowing and shit. But this video isn't about Keem Star. This is a message. From Tobuscus. Listen, Toby, I knew you didn't do it, man. I just, I didn't want to say anything, you know. I'm, I don't, I'm not the dude with the stellarest of uh, reputations. <laughs> I'm really not. But I know you didn't do it. Because I know, you probably did some things that you regret. And trust me, there is a lot of people who do, who've done things that they wish they could take back. A lot of they, a lot of people have done like a whole bunch of shit that they regret. But the shit I heard just kind of made me a little sad because you're a dude that deserves a little bit more because you even when Keemstar. Even when you got beaten down by Keemstar and everybody else, you still kept going. You made a little, you made some literal trailers again. You're doing stuff for Toby, Toby Games again. You're doing all this stuff again. And I'm so, so happy. I don't even know if you remember me really, but I was a guy. I was Bobo fan once upon a time ago, and I was a guy. I was a guy. Just starting out, just doing his own thing, working on his own videos, and you, Toby, honestly, 
you subscribe to me. Now, you were this big YouTuber. Now, like, I just came on the, I came on the YouTube, but you subscribed to me. You were the very first subscriber who subscribed to me. And that, that still means something to me. It, it does. And I thought, a person like, a person like you, you know, who subscribed to a no, no name of a channel. <laughs> I'm laughing because seriously, no name is not my last name when it comes to these videos. <laughs> you know, you didn't, like, I didn't, I don't even think I had content back then. I had like a shitty little camera. Talking about banjo kazooie nuts and bolts, and and I'm not trying to pretend like I know you, man. I don't. But from what, from, from, but I always supported you. I actually want to want. I actually want to talk to you one day, even if it's like a Skype or Discord thing, because tell me, you well, you are. Still one of the inspirations of why I still do YouTube. You're one of the many inspirations I do when I, when I have YouTube. Like, Mark's a main inspiration for me, but you were too. Because you gave me that one little push I needed. And it may not, it may not mean much to a lot of people. But it, it means so damn much to me. In, like, so many different ways, man. And I want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you for finally talking, man. Thank you for finally speaking out and talking about this. I wish a certain critic could do the same. But that's neither here nor there. I, I wish you could get your show back. And I wish you could get your book back, too, man. You were... You were doing so well, and then this shit happened. You're even on Annoying Arts, which is... Man, let me move this over here. Something's over here. Let me move it over oh, here. Really? Just over here? Okay. Like, you were doing a whole bunch of stuff, man. Like... You were the guy, you were the guy that every other YouTuber wanted to be. Like, everybody wanted to be a PewDiePie, or a Markiplier, or a Jacksepticeye. But at first, I wanted, when, I, when I first started, I, I wanted to be like you. I wanted to be like you. You were funny. Hell, you were the silly, you were the silliest dude ever. You know? <laughs> Random, wacky, and you still got that. And I will, like, I will always, always support you, no matter what, man. I just hope you see this video, Toby, because honestly, even though I don't think you really know what you did for me that day, I want you to know it means a lot. It really meant a lot to me. Still. <sighs> Today, I kind of had, like, a kind of bad day. You know. Just, you know, my stream wasn't really going right. But, hearing this, and getting my anger out by playing Pokemon Tournament kind of wheedled everything out. But, Toby, thank you. Thank you for doing... Thank you for speaking up, and thank you, thank you for giving, thank you for giving way, way back in the day, a 16-year-old kid that you knew nothing about, thank you for giving him a, thank you for giving me your, your subscribe. That's all I gotta say. If people want to hate me for just standing up and 
standing up, standing up for you after you actually did tell the truth. Because I, I could see it in your eyes, man. I could see it in your eyes in the video. You were telling the truth. Because, you know, the thing that always never really got got me about this whole allegation thing, dudes, we never see, we never, like, these, we, you know, he wasn't even taken to jail for any of the other stuff he did. Like, even if it happened afterwards, he didn't get brought in for questioning or anything. It was, it was all just allegations. Nothing actually came out of it. And I'm just wondering to myself, I'm wondering to myself, like, see, I'm wondering to myself, why would this person just lie like that to tell us this? I gotta I got be real with you. Guys, don't lie about the whole rape thing, because that is a big allegation to be putting on people. Like, if they, if they aren't doing it, if they aren't, like, if no one's getting... If no one's getting, like, if no one's actually getting, like, if no one's actually getting, like, uh, you know, if no one's actually getting sexually assaulted and you're just, you're making that up, it's disrespectful to people who are, who are actually probably getting raped and don't want to, don't want to speak up about anything. You can't just make a mockery of that. You can't. Because it just diminishes the people who actually get raped. And I don't really talk about a lot, of, a lot of issues like this. Because actually, I don't want to be like Nicole Harbour and just... Meh, 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 meh. I'm, going through, I'm going from the actual fucking heart right now. Just people. Don't make fake allegations. It really hurts for the people who really do get raped. And it makes people believe those people who actually do get raped less and less. <sighs> Toby, I'm just glad you told the truth, man. I'm glad. Because in a world where every motherfucker can't keep their fucking smacking weapon in their fucking pants, there's a few people out there that didn't do jack, but people still want to shit on them. Or in Keemstar's case, profit off of them. But that's all I got to say. And if any of you want to really fight with me in the comments, I don't care. This is what I really felt. This is what I had to say. And if anybody doesn't like, if anybody don't like that, well, fuck you. You ain't, you don't deserve my, you don't deserve to be my subscriber. Just Jesus. <sighs> oh, yeah. I want to do. I want to do this one one time. Do 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 do. Subscribe. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I kind of wanted to do that. I always wanted to do that. I'll go, guys. I'll see you later. I just wanted to end on something a little bit more happy. <laughs> if I if I may.